Hello and welcome to some more Train Simulator 2020 content where today we're going to be taking a BR Green Class 55 Deltic from York to Darlington on a diverted Middlesbrough service while adhering to a timetable in 1964. Jolly good. Alright, I've had a little, uh, I've had a little play with the scenario. I think I got um, just beyond Thursk, basically just to get a feel for everything and uh, yeah, so far up, up till then. All is well. Before I carry on, I'd like to give another huge mention to David Miller, who has once again kindly donated uh, to the channel. I mean, it's thank you ever so much. I mean, it's just like I can't really express my gratitude enough. Like you know, it's it's your it's your own money that you're donating to me, and you know, it's just it really is just it's so incredible. What it allows me to do is just uh, upgrade everything in regards to the channel, be it content for this, um, other projects I have associated with um, gaming, uh, as well as the channel as a whole for when I eventually start my Trains At series again. If you're new to the channel, then um, my channel's built up on me doing train spotting videos. So if this is the sort of thing that you like with uh, idiotic commentary thrown on the top, please do check out my other videos. But um, if you'd like to help support the channel, like uh, David and so many others have done, then you can do by donating to the PayPal link found down below. Any and all funds go immediately back into the channel to help better the content not only from this, but for other projects that uh, I have in the pipeline. Additionally, if you have any route recommendations or trains you'd like to see me drive, please do let me know and I'll see what I can do for you. Right, so we don't actually get ourselves to do that one up. Right, uh, today we've got quite a few problems, exclamation mark. Firstly, the slow lines are close between Skelton Junction and Thirsk. This means that freight and passenger services have to share the lines to expect a lot of stop start running. As well as this, the line north of Darlington is closed for emergency engineering work, so today we are going to Darlington where a Class 47 will take over for the rest of the journey to Newcastle via the Durham coast. Stick to following timetable. They've really messed up this sentence. Stick to following timetable and commence passenger boarding by the following times. Northampton at 1512, Darlington 1528. Okay. Alright, so. I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to do that. And I want to do this. Because why not? I've been fortunate enough to stand next to a couple of Deltics when they've uh, given it the beans when they're pulling away. The first one was at the North Yorkshire Moors Railway, so it was going from Whitby to somewhere, some far distant lands, not along the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. And uh, when she initially departed, the driver put the hammer down to get the train going, and my God, the, the roar went through your body. You can actually feel your body physically vibrating. Uh, the second one was when I was at York a couple of years ago, seeing the famous four coming in. And uh, Delta came in, I think it was behind the Flying Scotsman. And then eventually um, went light into the National Rail Museum. And of course, the driver put the hammer down and the thing just went boom. Smoke everywhere, it took off. The acceleration when it was just running light is just phenomenal. So it was, uh, it was excellent, absolutely excellent. So what we end up doing for the initial part, we pass um, a couple of Deltics and we pass some steam engines as well. I got the screenshot uh, in my initial run I did when I was coming out of York. So I may... Um, I may just keep it at that, or I might try and find another couple of screenshots as the journey progresses. I'll see how we feel.
should be a Deltic that appears around here. Here she comes. Also, while we're at it, we have D9003 meld as our uh, whoops method of uh, traction for today's run. Hey, okay, once we hit the 15 limit, I can basically start accelerating and we'll comfortably get to the 125 limit uh, before we even touch uh, well before we go over 50 should I say I think we do just touch 50 just as we hit the 125 sit here for the bulk of the journey. We may switch to the other side. Looks like, yeah, we'll manage to uh, get, in fact, yeah, it was just under this time around. Oh, hello. Bit of wheel spin. Did this last time as well. Because you give it way too much power, um, basically you run the risk of doing a bit of wheel spin. And that's exactly what I did. Interestingly, max speed is 100 miles per hour. This thing will go about 108. So, all is well. So, you can see that we're due into Northampton at 1512, or we're supposed to be in at 1512, and our ETA is 1504. So, uh, at some point, we're going to have to get absolutely stuffed to bits by uh, the signals, but uh, the description for the scenario, or the, the briefing for the scenario, did actually say to us that uh, there will be some stop-start along the way, which I'm sure the Deltic wasn't really built for, but there we go. Steam trains with a uh, local passenger run. It's about 108, and then the train basically will just coast. I don't actually have to do anything up until we get past Thursk, really. So from, from here to Thursk, it's relatively easy running. I think we get to about five miles outside North Allerton, uh, and that's when we start encountering a heavy load of traffic. What we end up doing, actually, is having to make way for a freight train, interestingly, and there's a passenger train in front of us. And traditionally, freight trains will play, well, always play second fiddle to passenger train. Passenger trains always have a higher priority. This time around, it seems to be different. Freight trains have a priority.
think the next train we pass is a Delta. I can't actually remember how it, uh, how it went. I know there's a freight train that we pass hauled by a steam locomotive. So we're doing a steady 150, sorry, 1500 RPM with 108 speed. So uh, the 125 limit we're never going to get anywhere near to. At least sitting outside you've got the sound of the Deltic engine. Inside the cab you can't really hear it all that well. Okay, this looks like it's the Deltic that's about to pass us. I'll check mark once. Sit back here again. What I do remember about the Delta is that the brakes aren't overly wonderful. I think this might be the next uh, freight train. I think this one is being um, done via the tender first. Yes, it is. A couple of livestock wagons at the back. Nice gentle curve, bit of a lean, nothing too dangerous. Who doesn't love the sound of a Delta? I know I've said it before, but who doesn't love it? It's just that unmistakable sound.
don't think it's supposed to rain in this scenario. I just don't trust the look of these clouds. So we've got 12 and a bit miles to go before we hit North Allison. nice run so far. Let's bring the old mouse into view so I can uh, start moving the camera around I didn't hit. Pass in a couple of farms. do is just keep an eye on all the signals. Okay, so we're about to pass, ask, pass, past, yeah, we're about to pass, past, thirsk. That's a real tongue twister. Under the bridge, take my head off, twonk. I've never filmed at first, I think it's uh, be a pretty good one to go and film out, I think. Okay, if we look ahead, see the signals are indeed now turning against us. So, what we're going to do, put about 50% brakes on, start slowing down. Like another bit, and blimey, <laughs> another Delta passing us. Going like the clappers. We'll keep slowing down, even though the signal is now changing to grey, and we'll, we'll keep slowing. at the coast at this stage. So 
So if we do a cheeky zoom forward, you see the next two blocks in front of us are absolutely fine and dandy, but uh, that's that freight train ahead of us will have priority. So at this point, there's no sense in me uh, giving it too much in the way of great guns, just enough to keep some momentum going now. When you consider that we're supposed to be in North Hudson at 1512 and we're doing at 1504, so you can imagine the holdups we're going to be receiving. I don't know if that's a... I'm going to assume it isn't a steam boat, but I, I never actually saw what was holding that in my initial test of this. We'll just keep uh, increasing our speed. Just ever so gently. But I don't actually think we ever do find out what was at the front of that steam engine. Steam engine? Freight train? It might be a steam engine at the front of that freight train. Okay. Alright. 73 miles an hour. Turn the regulator down. Do a cheeky zoom forward. There is a passenger train in front of us. It hasn't actually loaded in as of yet. There it is. So it's not too far ahead. So we're only three miles away from North Allerton and we're going to have a pretty sizable weight from the looks of things. Just release that for the moment. Do a cheeky zoom. There's a 47 there. Passenger train is waiting. Freight train has the go ahead. So uh, yeah, it's all it's all good fun. It's all getting a little bit busy around here. Now this 47 never passed me initially because um, I am I never got to this uh, this area of life. So uh, for Pacey, from here on out, I have no idea what to expect. Okay. Just stick the reverser into basically into neutral for the moment. Let's do a cheeky little zoom forward. Looks like you are on the move, so I should be going at some point.
I don't suppose there's anybody chasing us from behind. Not that I can see. Oh, what do you know it's changed? What are the odds? Okay. Doom. Doom. The signal should have changed by the time we get up there. Mind you, in saying that, I don't know. I don't know, he might do, he might not. We'll have to keep our wits about us. In fact, that has just changed. So we'll just give it a little, a minute amount of throttle. Just to, uh, just to keep us going. We've got two blocks to uh, traverse through now, but I'm still going to keep the regulator where it is. There's no sense in me giving it what for when we have, we have to start slowing down anyway. I'm assuming that the passenger train in front of us will be stopping at North Allerton. Or not. Interesting. Well... Okay, well, I'm not going to say anything. I know the permitted speed of the Delta is 100 miles an hour, but it was allowing me to run at 108, no issues at all, nothing was popping up, so um, looks like we're going to be sat at North Allerton for a while. Yeah, we're going to be stuck in North Allerton for a bit then. Oh well, not much we can do that one then. We're going to be we're going to be sat here, but there we are. Right, so, uh, it's basically just a waiting game now. Stop as you're supposed to, so you stop in front of the junction and in front of the light as well. Uh, the bulk of the train is uh, is in as far as really you, you can go. I mean, if, strictly speaking, if I hook at the loco at this end of the world, then not too much of a problem, but try and keep things as sensible as possible 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 i wonder if i did a cheeky zoom in 
No. Because <laughs> that's where the portal is. Never mind. What if I did a cheeky zoom in up there? Interesting. Well, okay. Well, we're here anyway. So, uh, we've got a... Well, now a lengthy wait here at, uh, at North Allerton. I've only ever filmed here once, and I thought it was very, very good. So uh, I look forward to coming back down here again, hopefully later on this year, and uh, going from there, really. If I go... Mind you, I've got all the time in the world to play with here, so I can, I can line up some absolutely pants shots as well as some half decent ones. So if I went here, yeah, back in 1964 they had drones. So let's go here, that's some um, a lorry. Let's do a bit of a zoom. Or oh, actually, what if I went here? No, because you've got that in the way. Actually, that's um, it's not amazing, really. Uh, hmm, okay. Um, and we can try further down the line, I guess. Let us try from one of these rooftops. That does not help me. Let's go over here. Let's try. No, she can't see it again. You're up here, top of the chimney stack. Hello, in there. Anyway, uh, yes, right. So, into the chimney stack, onto it. No, no, doesn't really help at all. Yeah, you see, it's yeah. Hmm, okay. Maybe I should have gone onto there and taken up. Yeah, I should have done that. Really, shouldn't I? Yes, you should. But I didn't. No, you didn't, did you? Nope. Okay, right, well, fine. Anybody behind me? Are we holding up proceedings? Mm, no. Okay, wait, is there a trap that side? Oh, of course, it does that, doesn't it? You. <sighs> What's this, um, Milk chocolate, Durham and York. Cool. I was asking to tip over. Well, all this does, it gives the train in front of us plenty of time to uh, clear, so we can just run at 80 miles an hour for however long. Mind you, in saying that, that's... Mind you, they'll, they'll change once we start moving, I'm sure. Um... To be honest with you, there's not really an awful lot I can say and or do at this stage. Uh, I can have a look see if there's got any passengers that are being a bit odd. No, you're just power walking. Uh, you're all just doing your own stuff. Uh, is there really nobody behind us? Nope. Well, well, oh, metal, metal polish, creamy, incredible shine. Excellent. That does not help me. So it's, yep, 15.07. Sun is trying to break out. Don't suppose any more trains are going to come out of the portal. I don't believe so. Is there anything up there? Oh, there is. It's another 47. So is that 47 going to be stopping or is that passing through? My money is on it stopping, I think. Has my train really only got one first class carriage? Yes, it does. That's peculiar. I would have thought a train this length would report at least two. Oh no, she's coming straight through. Well, 
that answers that question. She's running straight through, so I have no idea what uh, where she's going to be going. Somewhere mystical and magical, some far and distant land. Do 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 Anyone else behind us coming onto the line? No. Is there, any, is there going to be anybody coming up from the portal? Nope. Well, how's the traffic doing? There's another lorry, couple of cars. Excellent. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're still. So I'm just waiting. I suppose I could sit here. If I just went, what? Here? No, the further I'm actually here. Yeah, sit at a decent height. Goes about here when the train departs. I went through foliage. Doesn't really help. Um. Okay. Maybe I'll just abandon searching for a screenshot during this. I took one for my initial ventures when I was leaving York, so that should be fine. Let's see what I can find at Darlington. Where's the exhaust bits? Here. What plan? So if I can get a face full of uh, face full of dirt. God, you could let us go early, blimey. Wait for it. Wait for oh, because it's twelve thirty six. Off the cross oh no, that's where I've got to turn up, isn't it? Oh giddy on. Oh god, this is this is endless. Oy. Okay, anybody else coming down? No. Right. You make the passenger stop in time. Next is Darlington by fifteen twenty eight. You make the passenger stop in time. Jesus, that sentence has been put together quite poorly. Right. So we're doing at fifteen twenty seven. ETA is fifteen twenty seven. So uh, hopefully when we get held up. So let's sit here. Release the brakes. Um, should we just give it a full whack? A bit of wheel slip. Why not? Fair amount of wheels up kicking off and it's really struggling. Fourteen and a bit miles to go. I suppose we really need to keep an eye on these signals. Yeah, they've changed. That's fine. I had a feeling they would. I'd be slightly confused if they weren't. Uh, 
probably goes about 50%, I would have thought. We're due in practically bang on time, so I think we're, uh, I think we're good. Keep on steadily accelerating instead of giving it uh, the complete beans. Yeah, we have something else coming down now. So we'll take our testimonial position out here. Looks like a Deltic. Nice, very nice. Hopefully the signals will be kind to us, seeing as we got into Northallerton ridiculously early. a bit speeding. Okay, so a little bit more throttle. Some cows. A little bit more throttle. Could eleven percent just be the the one we need? Well I mean it's slowly increasing. I can always just keep upping it and dropping it, so it's, uh, it's not going to be the most taxing thing I've ever done, if I'm honest. I'm not going down here, it's staying flat, so let's gentle tap, bosh, 9%, let's see what that does. Could be all the percentage we need. Oh, there they are. 80 miles an hour on this section of the East Coast Main Line. It's criminal. Absolutely criminal. Okay. Excellent. Right, so we've got 10 miles to go. I genuinely can't see any problems for the remainder of this journey. I think we should be absolutely fine. Some more cows. Looks like it just actually uh, pop up into the cab. If I get any problems, it'll pop up on the what's it anyway. Where's the throttle in this thing? Where's the power handle? Can I. A little bit 10%, there we are. Let's see what 10% gives us. That in between percentage, you never know. That, that might just be the one we need. That could be the one you need. I suspect 10% is probably... 
I might actually just keep flicking between 9 and 11 at this point. It doesn't seem to be a constant. Mind you, we'll see what happens when we get into the 80s. If it gets to like 80 point something, and then it stays at 80 point something, then we're fine. But if it gets to like 80.9, then it's like, okay, we'll bring it back down once more. Little farmhouses. Oh, yeah. Eighty point five. You know, it's it's increasing, it's increasing. Seven percent. Well, oh, there we go. So basically, I'm just going to be feathering it around back and forth for the time being. So it's we'll be fine. What have we got? We've got four and a bit miles to go. So uh, I think we're okay. Well, when you consider that the description is like, you know, it's going to be very stop, start, stop, start, it's like we've had, we basically had one section where we were stops, and now that we had a monumental plate of North Allerton, and then that's about it, really. And we drew in over a mint early as well, so... That's all fun and dandy. Let's go. Oh, we're going 13% now, are we? Oh, okay. Oh, this is getting dangerous. Lucky for some. Okay, two miles to go. Oh, we've got an engine running light. Yep, a uh, two-tone green 47. Hello. Oh, okay, that's the signals changing, so we're going to want to go to about 50% braking just to slow down sufficiently. I can always play with it it's, uh, a little bit further down, a little bit looser. That will do that now, actually. We'll go to about 32, that'll do. Here comes a two-tone green 47 with a passenger train. Very nice. 
Okay, that's been a little, more, a little bit more heavy fisted with the breaking. I really am struggling to put together a basic sentence, so uh, heaven help me when it comes to me trying to get a uh, strategic sentence out filled with long, complicated words. I wish to pontificate at great length. You said that one, okay? I oh, know. But I'd thought about that one beforehand. I wanted to say it at some stage. But did you? Yes, I did. So that one wasn't just a spur of the moment thing. That wasn't. Okay. Suspect that signal in front of me is red. That would be a yes. Okay. Spadoop, spadoop, spadoop. There we go. It may change for us, but uh, we'll see. It's going for some very gentle braking. In fact, let's just turn it off. Let's just roll at this point. Keep on rolling. Through the gap. Three. Knowledge. That's no, just changed, wouldn't you know? Let's bring the speed up. Actually, we'll give it four beans so we can go to 25 miles an hour. I suspect we get a bit of wheel stuff going up from there as well. Alright, 20% throttle. Then I imagine we're going to have to shut it off anyway. It's always the case. I only ever filmed a Darlington once. It was okay. Probably won't go there again. Okay, we'll flip to this side. Another two-tone green 47 just leaving. Was that just turned up? Oh. Might have just turned up. There we go. Basically, we came in uh, bang on time, really. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's not a bad shot. Well. Very nice. Okay. Uh, you have finished this scenario, but not all aspects were completed. Try again for a clean result. Not all aspects were completed. All right. Well, I find that hard to believe, but there we are. Stopped. Is it what? Picked up passengers out of one of two platforms. Okay. I spared twice. I had uh, wheel slip for 
that amount of percentage of time. Oh well, that is uh, that's that one. Bit weird, but there we go. Makes sense to him, them, person. Uh, where am I? I've lost myself. Right then. Uh, what are we going to do next? Next, we're going to do. We are going to go down here. Yeah. We are going to go on the East Coast Main Line once more. But. I've got to find it first. Um, oh, hold on. That was it, wasn't it? That was it. Yeah, that's the one. Newcastle, Edinburgh. That's the kitty. Uh, right, we're going to do the early bird to London from Edinburgh to King's Cross. Well, Edinburgh to Newcastle. We're the Intercity 225, so we'll be in the DVT rather than the 91 this time around. But I'm sure it will still be thoroughly enjoyable for a nice early morning service. So that's what we will be doing next. So thank you all very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. If you've enjoyed this scene today, then please do like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. I do go back to them as and when I get the opportunity to. And uh, until next time, I shall see you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.